Gorm, one of the great stylists of the American popular song, Edie Gorm had a loyal following from the 1950s until the 2000s. She was born Edith Gorm on August 16, 1928 in New York City, the daughter of Nassim Gorm, an immigrant tailor and fortune Gorm. Both parents were Turkish-born Jews of a Spanish descent, so she and her older siblings, Corny and Robert, grew up speaking fluent Spanish. Ironically, she was the only one of the three not to be given music lessons since the others had not made much use of theirs. In her long career, Edie Gorham delighted countless audiences and helped create a classic style of American popular singing whose appeal and vitality are eternal. Edie Gorham died on August 10, 2013 in Las Vegas. She was 84 years old. May her soul rest in peace. Jody Payne Jody Payne, a guitarist who toured with Willie Nelson for more than three decades, has died. He was just 77 years old. Belvin County Coroner Stan Zinzon says Payne died at 5.12 a.m. Saturday at a hospital from cardiac problems. He says Payne got up early in his house in his deputy town. Ella feeling ill and his wife called an ambulance. He says Penny had a long history of cardiac problems. According to a 2011 profile in the mobile press register, Payne toured with Nelson from 1973 to 2008. He retired to Step Litton with his wife, Vicky. There he continued playing music, teaching the guitar at a local music store. He died on 10th August 2013. Buddy Baker, he was one of the racing's fastest drivers, the first in NASCAR to take a car to 200 miles per hour on a closed course. When his career in racing ended, he became a commentator. Now, a month after lung cancer forced him to finally retire, Buddy Baker has died at age 74. Baker won the pole position 40 times and finished first in 19 NASCAR races. In 1980, he won the Daytona 500 by driving at an average of more than 177 miles per hour, a mark that still stands as the fastest in the race history. Born in 1941 in Florence, SC, Baker's full name was L.Z. Weil Baker, Jr. He died at his Lake Norman home outside of Charlotte, according to the Charlotte Observer. He died on 10th August, may his soul rest in peace. Tony Esposito We have lost another great one. Tony Esposito passed away on August 10, 2021, after a short battle with pancreatic cancer. He was 78 years old. He was a Hall of Fame goaltender who spent 15 years of a 16-year National Hockey League career with the Chicago Blackhawks. He started off with the Montreal Canadiens in 1968-69, to but at the end of that season, the goalie Rich Habs left Esposito unprotected. That summer of 1969, he was picked up by Chicago for the waiver fee of $30,000. Billy Grammer Billy Grammer was an American country music singer and accomplished guitar player. He recorded the million-selling Gotta Travel On, which made it onto both the country and pop music charts in 1959. Grammer would become a regular performer on the Grand Ole Opry, eventually designing and marketing his namesake guitar after co-founding a guitar company in Nashville. Tennessee. Grammer died on August 10, 2011, aged 85, at Benton Hospital, where he had been receiving treatment for a long-term illness, which included suffering a heart attack seven months earlier.